How do you know your worth at a, such a young age? Because the Falcons offered you originally a deal for 400000 You rejected that, said, yeah. give me 11 mil. Y'all settled four years, I think, five, uh, four and a half million dollars. Mm -hmm. how, how did you know? I believed in me. And then I had an a agent at the time, Eugene Parker, was yep. a youngster mm -hmm. that wasn't no joke. And he had a master plan for me. He would always talk about this master plan. Another young brother that, guess what, I gave an opportunity to. Yep. That no one knew him. Mm -hmm. He wasn't on the map like that. Right. And guess what? He blew up. He blew up. Blew up. He did. Yeah, because he was an honest, good guy that I loved to like. Uh, took a lot out of me when he passed away. Right. Because that was my man. He did every contract I ever had in my life on the field as well as off the field before he passed. What was your first purchase? Um, let me back up a little bit. <laughs> because you got to understand. Okay. Going into my junior year in the summer, I signed a Yankees contract. Right. So it was like the first NIL. So when so I signed, had, so you had I, some. Bread. I had a quarter mil going into my senior year. Okay. So, but so now you didn't got that contract. You you got to pay for yourself to go to school. Yes. So the Yankees paid my tuition. Okay. And I was a walk on. Okay. So I could stunt like no other. <laughs> <laughs> because you couldn't challenge me. Right. So we get on the plane going somewhere. I got, you know, I have on snake, you know, snake skin was the thing back yeah, then. Yeah, I yeah. had some snake skin, some Louis, you know, because you couldn't challenge right. where you get this from because I had played six weeks in the summer right. and made a ton of money. Right. And then I know I'm going to be a top five pick in the draft going into my senior year. So it was a, it was a lovely day. I had a crib uh, on the golf course in Tallahassee, a condo, and I had my dorm room. <laughs> so I was living. Yeah, you yeah. really live it. But I bought a, uh, coming out after my senior year, I bought a 560 five, SEC. Six. And, you know, dr cut the top off, dropped that thing, you know. Uh, Big, long, oh, that thing, oh, oh, that thing like a limo. Yeah, that thing yeah. And I brought a uh, BMW M M3. That was probably one of the dumbest buys, not because of BMW. I didn't know how to drive a stick, and I bought a stick. How you buy that? You don't, just But ignorant. that thing was nice. My it, brother yeah. had one. He brought one. But I was, he brought the M3. Yep. Ignorant. I was just ignorant. Didn't even know how to drive a stick, and I bought a stick. So I get in the car like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we can talk about this stuff now. <laughs> but that's ignorant. Yeah. So now I'm able to counsel young men on don't, don't, don't no stupid stuff person. You don't, no, need. Yeah, don't even don't understand this stuff. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.